right, gang. I guess it's about time I put out my April uh, trip report for Vegas. So let's start off on uh, April 18th is when I left uh, Maui. Our flight used to leave at 10.40 uh, a.m. And Hawaiian Airlines changed it uh, four hours later to 2.40 p.m. And we we're a little bit delayed getting off the ground also. So by the time I got into Vegas, it was almost midnight. And so got my bags, uh, got to the hotel, checked in put my things away. Like I said, I don't really want to rush down. So after I put everything away, I uh, went downstairs to check out the uh, tables. I didn't play uh, very much that, that night, if any at all. I don't think I even played uh, that night. I might have played uh, Kino Machine, which is uh, something new for me. And uh, so when I'm taking a break from the table, I play the Kino Machine. And so I don't think I played anything that night. Um, the next day, um, the 19th, I played three sessions um, at the Orleans. Um, I put them out on my reels, like I do every time I get through a session. I uh, put it out so you know what I started with, what session that was, what I ended up with, uh, where I was playing, you know, things like that. So, you know, if you're on our uh, Crafts Hawaii uh, Facebook page, you would see the postings there or on my uh, Facebook or Instagram. You will see that every time I get through uh, with a session, I would uh, make a small reel for, for you to see what uh, was my start and finish and where I was playing and what session it was. So on uh, the 19th, I played three sessions at the Orleans and probably played some Kino again. Uh, just couldn't win seven out of seven. Got some six out of sevens, but uh, not the seven out of seven. So anyway, um, played a little bit with uh, Elton Johnson, his friend, friend Khalil, and Alfredo came down on the 19th uh, in the evening, I think it was. So I uh, hit the tables and my uh, just have some friends and to play with. So that was on the 19th. Um, up and down, made some money, lost some money, just up and down. So um, on the 20th, uh, we went to the Nugget, um, Alfredo and myself um, and my friend Jason, who is um, from Maui, and one of my students and his son came with uh, their own car and followed us as um, me and Alfredo made our rounds. We decided we were gonna just uh, take our time and go from casino to casino and uh, just enjoy the day. So we started off um, at the Nugget on on Thursday and went to the Fremont after the Who's Nugget. less money here? <laughs> okay, gang. We just started our day. It's uh, almost lunchtime. Got up late since we went to bed late last night. Uh, I haven't hit the tables yet, so... I'm, just, I'm down 340. That, that's, <laughs> what that's what Alfredo gets for getting up early and hitting the tables before me. Thank you, Alfredo, for checking the waters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I took, I took the, the kick to the nuts. <laughs> Uh, ended up going to the Santa Fe uh, Station Casino and before we got on the tables uh, we had some lunch at Fat Burger and I gotta admit that's the first time I ever tasted sweet potato fries um, they were delicious instead of regular french fries it was sweet potato fries if you ever have a chance and you like sweet potato over the fat burgers at the Santa Fe uh, Casino 
and try that out. I think you'd really like that. So after that lunch, uh, we got on the table. Um, really struggled because uh, there were a bunch of uh, random shooters and they really were knocking Alfredo and myself off. And luckily, Alfredo and myself, we uh, played corporation and uh, played the corporation style. And, and luckily, because if we did not put our money together, I'm sure both of us would have lost and been off the table um, a lot, lot faster. But because we had our money together, we were able to uh, withstand the losses till it got back to um, myself and Alfredo and my friend Jason, who was uh, also there. So I think all of us uh, actually had a decent role and um, that's what dug us out of the hole from uh, the randoms. So we pretty much uh, made our money back. Uh, we're up like a hundred dollars, I think, uh, from the corporation money. And then when Jason came, we decided to stay there for a little while because um, he just got there. And, and then of course we had to go through the randoms again and we ended up starting losing some money and losing some money and then finally, decided that it was time to leave. So we left the Santa Fe and we headed down to uh, Palace Station. So when we're at Palace Station, um, we started the corporation again. Um, I trust Alfredo. So I let him play while I hit the Kino machines again. Um, while we were there also, we met up with uh, Crooked River Craps. Uh, first time I ever met him, but he always uh, is making comments and uh, is a follower and supporter of uh, Craps Hawaii. So it was nice to uh, meet him in person. So we were there for, I'd say, maybe two hours, three hours. And then um, we decided it was time to uh, go back to um, the Orleans. So we ended up back at the Orleans for the rest of the evening. The next day was uh, Friday the 21st. Uh, we ended up going back down to the Nugget again and uh, played a little while at the Nugget. And also uh, Elton Johnson from Honolulu, um, his friend Kale, uh, Kaleo with his fiance, um, Elton with his wife, uh, Eddie Hernandez was also there. And uh, Alfredo and myself joined them for dinner at um, the grotto at, uh, at the Nugget. Having a small dinner with Khalil, his fiance, Elton, his wife, Eddie, Shit. And here, <laughs> here, here comes Alfredo. So we got to test our poo-poos and the main meal is coming later at the Golden Nugget. So thanks Elton for inviting us and taking care of the bill. So now um, after the Nugget and the Fremont, uh, Saturday the 22nd, uh, we did, I did like three sessions again at the Orleans. Hungry gang, this is uh, session number one, I'm gonna call this for a Saturday. It's two in the morning, uh, we left Fremont, and we had a pretty decent hand in the Fremont like I showed. Uh, we came to the Orleans, so Alfredo and myself, we bought in together the corporation, $400 each. So we got into the game at uh, for $800, right? You warmed up the dice. Yeah, <laughs> I took the dice. Alfredo said, let the next guy roll because we just got in. I said, well, I feel like I could roll, so I rolled not bad, right? I just doubled it. Really well. You made, made money, yeah. Huh? Few yeah, so we don't go back. Yeah, <laughs> so anyway, uh, like I said, uh, we came to the Orleans, bought it for 800, started our corporation, 
Um, bought in for $76 for that hand, and we had uh, $15 on the pass line. So a couple of hits later, um, we took the pass line off because the replay, we got hit so we could take that pass line off and we placed the uh, four and 10 with that money, uh, made it $20 each. So we were like uh, 116 across. And we brought that money and played and uh, one guy had a great hand. And so we bet it, uh, I mean, I'm afraid of we take it to the moon. I say, yeah, we got our money back. Yeah, uh, I tell him take it to the moon. He he, he really <laughs> pressed him. <laughs> so anyway, uh, this is what we ended up winning at the end of a one-hour session. Just me and one other guy throwing twenty-five hundred and fifty dollars, and we also gave uh, the dealer, I mean the shooter, a hundred bucks, and we also gave the dealers their tip. So we actually cashed out. Uh, Almost, almost what, 2700 or so. 2700 plus we, we, we went the next shoot in 76 and we lost that one. <laughs> no good. <laughs> so colored up and uh, we we're going to have something to eat. So for those of you that think 76 inside you cannot make money, this is the proof. If so. you think you can't beat people that were at a 130 or two, 220, this guy's a genius them. too, we right? He back. says, he says to me, "How much do we have on the table?" I say, "About 800." He said, "Take them off." <laughs> and what happens? Next row was a seven. Oh my goodness! What a genius! Genius <laughs> money, genius. Well, guys, um, I would be happy that we could at least show you some win because uh, earlier was a lot of losses. So we recovered our losses and uh, probably in the profit. Not much, but some. So stay tuned for the next uh, sessions later on today when we get up. Thank you for watching. And after the Orleans uh, three sessions that night, the next day, uh, Sunday, actually I stayed up all night Saturday all the way through Sunday. And Sunday was... Um, I, when I was going to leave the hotel at 4.30 in the morning to uh, get to the airport when my flight was leaving at 7 in the morning. So I was on the table playing for a little while with uh, Craig because Craig came in um, to join me. I think it was uh, Friday, Friday late night or Saturday early morning when, we came, when he came in. So... Uh, we played together, Craig, uh, which is part of my crew. So we spent time at Orleans that night. And then, like I said, straight through, I stayed up all the way from Saturday, Saturday night, all the way to Sunday morning. Uh, I felt like I could sleep on the plane. And so all in all, um, I I did have uh, my Macy's card reward for eleven hundred dollars. Picking up my Macy's card reward, eleven hundred in cash. Great experience here. I got my plane fare back from uh, the last trip, which I left up there until I went back this time and got it. Also, my airfare for April. Um, my win without, you know, those things were $750 win. Um, not a big win, but it wasn't a loss. And with uh, with my Macy's and my airfare and my win, um, I came back like uh, plus 3000 But just for the wins of shooting craps, it was like, oh, I'm playing Kino, <laughs> which I, I won a little bit. Um, my total win just with the gaming side was uh, $750. So anyway, guys, um, that's the trip report. And uh, hopefully uh, when I go out back in May again in uh, a few days, uh, well, 16 days, I'll be back at the Orleans and maybe making rounds again to the other hotels. 
Um, if you see me up there, drop by, say hello. And thanks for your support. If you're not a subscriber, please help uh, the channel. It's called subscribe. It's free. And follow us on uh, Facebook, on our uh, Crops Hawaii Facebook page. And until next time, uh, thank you for the support. And we in the casinos play to stay alive.